Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. This is uh, Exponents uh, Practice Questions. So here are six questions that you can try. You can pause the video, work through these questions, and then I will show you the solutions. Now again, we can only combine um, powers that have the same base. So we can only combine the exponents. So here, the powers that have the same base are the, the s's. So we end up with s2 plus 4. And the r stays the same with r cubed. So this becomes s to the 6 r cubed. In this question, we have 6ax to the 5 times 3a squared b to the 4th x. We can, can combine our a powers and our x's. We also can combine our 6 and our 3. So 6 times 3 is 18. I'm just going to write these out. So we have a times a to the a squared, and then we have b to the fourth, and notice there's only one b. Well, what I meant was one b base. And then we have x to the five, and x. So, we have our 18, we have a to the one times a squared, so this becomes a to the one plus two, we have b to the 4, and x to the 5, and x to the 1. So this is 5 plus 1. So we end up with 18 a cubed b to the 4th x to the 6th. Next question. We have 5r to the 4th divided by, or 5r s to the 4th, divided by s to the seventh. We can see that we have s4 up here and s7 in the denominator. So what we can do is just write our 5r up here. And in the denominator, we can take our s with an exponent of 7 and subtract the 4. So we end up with 5r over s cubed. And just a reminder that really all, what we have in the numerator is four s's. What we have in the denominator is seven s's. So we're essentially just getting rid of the four in the top and bottom, and we're left with three s's in the denominator. Next question. Here we have 4L times L squared, MN squared, all cubed. Now, it's important to notice that what is cubed is L squared, MN squared. So again, remembering bed mass, we deal with uh, brackets first. Brackets and then exponents, right? Bed mass, brackets, exponents. Division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. So we'll deal with this piece first, all right? I'm going to leave 4 and L by itself. L squared cubed, so we have L, and then this is 2 times 3. M to the power of 3. And N, the exponent of 2, is multiplied by 3. So this becomes 4L times L. 2 times 3 is 6. We have M cubed and N 2 times 3 is 6 again. So there's a 6. Now at this point we take this L, which has a power of 1, or exponent of 1, and multiply it here. So we're going to be adding exponents. So again, what we have here is 4L times L to the 6 M cubed 
n to the 6. These two we add the exponents so it becomes 4l to the 7 m cubed n to the 6. And that's the final answer right there. Okay. So in this situation this entire um, uh, quotient or division here is raised to the power of 4. So what I'm noticing is that there is a u in my numerator here, a u in my denominator. I have a v in the denominator here and v cubed in the numerator. So it might be nice just to fix up what's going on inside here. <clears throat> I know that I have two u's up here u times u. So what I can do is subtract, I'm going to take get rid of this u2 and that gets rid of what happens here is I have 3 minus 2 and so I essentially end up with 1 u in the denominator. Let's just write that out a little more slowly. So we have 3 in the, in the numerator I have v cubed minus the 1v that's in the denominator. Okay? And in, I already covered it up, but in the denominator what I had was u cubed and I can bring down my 2 that's in the numerator and subtract it. And the w is not affected at all so I'm just going to leave it alone. The entire thing is raised to the power of 4. So what happens here is we have v or sorry, 3v squared divided by u, because 3 minus 2 is 1, so u to the power of 1, and then we have w. And what I was wanting to show you back here is that what we had was u squared in the numerator, u cubed in the denominator. So when you, when you get rid of that u squared up here, you actually get rid of 2 of the... Um, the 2 in the exponent and you're left with a 1 as an exponent for the u in the denominator which is what happened here. <clears throat> and once you get doing these a little more often it's a little easier to see that. So again this entire piece is raised to the power of 4. So now what we do is we just take everything to the power of 4 so this is 3 to the power of 4 v squared to the power of 4 which is v to the 8 u to the power of 4 and w to the power of 4. 3 to the power of 4 is 81 so that's 81 v to the 8 over u4 w4. Here we have 4ab squared x0. This is 4 a, B, times 1, which equals 4 A, B. And that's it. That was a pretty easy one for the last one. It's hard to believe, actually. But that's exactly it. Okay. Have a great day, and if you're having any concerns with... Uh, um, uh, questions or have any concern questions about this, please contact Ron Hammerling at 632-2251.